Hi guys, today I'm going to review these Chemist at Place serums. Now these serums are one of a kind because they are ceramide based which I've never seen before. So let's see how they fare on the skin. Hello to all the wonderful humans, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and welcome. I am Aboli and I make science based skincare and hair care videos. If you are interested in that space then consider subscribing to my channel. In today's video I am going to give you guys my review on the serums. This is the acne control serum and this is the exfoliating serum. This video is also in paid partnership with Chemistry at Play. Let's begin. I'm going to start with my favorite and that is Acne Control Serum. I'm saying it's my favorite because I really like niacinamide and this has 10% niacinamide and 10% azelaic acid. Now I've spoken about niacinamide so many times on my channel and I'm sure my OG subscribers are bored of it now. So I'm not going to concentrate a lot on niacinamide but I'm going to talk about azelaic acid because that is kind of an underrated ingredient which is gaining a lot of traction. The packaging as you can see here is quite gorgeous, looks really good in the vanity. It comes in a white glass bottle and comes with a dropper which is plastic and then glass. Um, standard serum packaging. The cost of the product is 569 for 30 ml, comes in the moderately affordable category which is great. Let's look at the texture of the serum. Now I am going to show you guys the texture on my hand and also on my face so that you guys understand how the serum actually gets absorbed in the skin and what the end feel is like. So first let's look at it on the hand so that you can see the texture clearly. You can see it's transparent. Uh, this one is odorless and it is kind of watery but it does have a little bit of body in it and by body I mean that you can feel that you know uh, there is a product underneath your fingers sometimes with serums what happens is that they are very watery and instantly when you apply it gets absorbed in your skin you know that those serums are usually hydrator based but with this serum as you can see it takes a little while to get absorbed in your skin and it does have a little bit of body because of the presence of ceramides and we know that ceramides are lipids so they are essentially fat so it will take a little time to get absorbed however it is not heavy at all it is not sticky even but it has a little bit of body uh, it will feel a little heavier than the other watery uh, serums that you guys are used to as you can see it has been absorbed and does leave a nice glow and it there's no residue at all and it's great as you can see here, I have these two spots. Now these were acne. I started using this serum and it works so good on acne, especially healing the acne and reducing the inflammation. As you can see here, the acne has completely healed and it's now in the stage of hyperpigmentation and in some days that's also going to go. As you can see here, the texture, as I've said before, it does take a little time to get absorbed, but it does the job. As you can see again, there's a nice healthy glow. I really like the texture of the serum. Now that you guys have seen the texture, I'm going to tell you guys what you can expect from this serum. So, the first thing you can expect from this serum is reduction of your inflammation, especially redness. Uh, if you have rosacea, azelaic acid is a great ingredient for rosacea. If you get a lot of redness because of your acne, sometimes, you know, when we have acne, the surrounding area can become really red and swollen. Works great on those acne times. The second thing you can expect from this serum is prevention of acne. There are many reasons because of which you can get acne. One of the major reasons is because there's a lot of dead cell build up and if you have oily skin or even if you don't have oily skin the dead cells can get you know clogged inside your pores and then you know that can oxidize and then bacteria can infest that area and then you get acne what azelaic acid does is that it cleans up the build up of the dead cells that's how you can keep your skin clean of those dead cells and that is how it prevents pimples from happening. The third thing that you can expect from this serum is actually treatment for your acne. 
Now acne is a serious skin disease. If you have acne, I would recommend going to a dermatologist first. When it comes to treatment, you need something which would work on the inflammation because once the inflammatory process goes down, your healing will go faster which niacinamide and azelaic acid both do. And you need something which is an antioxidant so that the breakdown of cell is less and you have healthy cells lying around so that uh, it can help with the wound healing. You need something which will also increase the cell turnover again so that the dead cell buildup is reduced. And the best part about the serum is that it has 10% niacinamide and 10% azelaic acid. So you have an antioxidant and you have one ingredient which works to increase cell turnover. That is great because it works on multiple levels to prevent your acne. Okay, now these are the things that you can expect from the serum. Let's see what I experienced from the serum. The first thing that I experienced is definitely prevention of acne. I was getting a lot of acne. Like what happens with me is um, whenever I start getting acne, it is usually because of hormones now. And my skin goes into this inflammatory cycle and I start breaking out in other areas also. And that inflammatory cycle keeps happening and I get new acne, especially in a small area where the first acne um, kind of gets healed and then I get a new acne right besides it. It shows me that the inflammatory cycle is on and on and on. The serum helps to just calm your skin to reduce the inflammation. And once the inflammation goes down and you can cut the cycle of inflammation then then yes treating acne is going to be great second thing that i experienced with this is definitely reduction of active acne like i had active acne here these two were active acne which are now quite settled down and this will take at least another week of usage to like completely go away but i'm really happy with the time that this took to settle down my acne now these two were quite uh, cystic and nodular in nature because of hormones i took my time and i slowly introduced the serum to my skin i didn't want to shock my skin because it's been a really long time since i've used azelaic acid on my skin so i wanted to go slow so what i did is at first i used it just on the non-reactive parts of my skin i did not use it every single day i don't think this serum should be used every single day i think alternate days or once in two to three days would be great then i applied the serum on the reactive parts of my face and that is on my cheek area where i get a lot of texture and acne after two to three weeks i could see a, a change i could see and i could attribute the change to this serum okay so remember to take your time with this serum now when can you use it i use it at night because i'm comfortable with using higher concentrations of actives at night and the next day you have to apply sunscreen then let's see who can use it according to me this is for advanced skincare users uh, i wouldn't recommend this for beginners because it has higher concentrations and sometimes when you're a beginner you don't know how your skin reacts so you might not be in a place where you can attribute the changes on your skin to the serum positive or negative so i would say um, if you are a beginner then start with lower concentrations if you want only then move on to higher concentrations i also don't recommend this for sensitive skin type otherwise it can be used by all people all skin types oily combination normal dry very dry you can use this i know many people who have dry to very dry skin types think that they cannot use niacinamide that is 10 percent niacinamide as helic acid but there's nothing like that in fact if you use this it can regulate your sebum production and will definitely help you because the texture of the serum also has a little more body than the watery serums it can be perfect for a dry skin type person how and when to use it in your skincare routine and what other things you can use with it i would recommend using this one thing in your one skincare routine use a cleanser which does not have any actives in it a very simple cleanser then use this wait for 15 to 20 minutes and then you can put on a very simple moisturizer which does not have any actives in it these actives are enough for your skin you do not need to add and layer more actives apart from 10% niacinamide and 10% is azelaic acid okay so i'm going to discuss about the ingredients of both the serums together at the end so if you want to know more of the ingredients and what ingredients the serums have then you will have to wait 
for that. Okay, let's talk about their exfoliating serum. This has 10% AHA and 1% hyaluronic acid. And the AHA that they have is lactic acid and not glycolic acid. So people who are worried don't need to worry. This is lactic acid, okay? Now, the cost of the product is 569 for 30 ml. Again, moderately priced and when it comes to exfoliants like this 30 ml is going to go for a really long way okay let's take a look at the serum as you can see it is a little cloudy cloudier than the other serum it was quite transparent this one as you can see is a little more viscous than that one also this has a fragrance now fragrance is not added but some of the ingredients already have a uh, you know fragrant note to it so whenever you open it you can smell the serum uh, with the acne control serum you definitely can't smell anything it's odorless but this definitely has fragrance now if you do this you can see that it is still sitting on my skin this is a little more fatty than that one takes a little time to get absorbed in your skin which is why i think that this would be great for peels like if you uh, do want like 10 minute peel or something you can just put it on your skin for 10 minutes and then just wash it off and it will work great so as you can see here this is it uh this is the texture of the product and it does take a little time it has been absorbed you can see it does leave a little bit of the glow and it does have a little residue that is left behind as well the serum spreads easily as you can see here it's a little viscous than the first serum and i'm smiling here because this serum gives me a little bit of tingling on my skin when I first apply it it's because it's exfoliating my skin it's not irritating or anything and it's very very mild now first let's see how you can use the serum first you can use the serum on your body or on your face yes lactic acid works great as a body exfoliator just mix up a little bit in uh, your body lotion or just apply it on the areas that is needed and you will get smooth skin works great on ingrown hair also because it dissolves the skin that you know traps the hair inside now let's see how it works on the face Lactic acid is a really good exfoliator because it has all the properties of glycolic acid without being harsh like glycolic acid. Like some people don't want to use glycolic acid, their personal choice. So for you guys, lactic acid should be your go-to. When my mom started using lactic acid, she has dry skin. I started to see so much difference in her skin. Like her skin, uh, you know, is more shinier, more healthy. You know, you can see when a skin is nice and glowing and that's when you know that it is perfectly and appropriately exfoliated and lactic acid will give you that let's see what you can expect from this serum with this serum you can expect reduction of your skin texture like this right here these three four things it should go away with regular usage of lactic acid because lactic acid is exfoliator the second thing you can expect from this serum is anti-aging benefits yes that's right many people don't think of exfoliating acids as anti-aging but it is second it also works great for people who get a lot of sunburn or who have hyperpigmentation because it is an exfoliator it is a gentle one it can be used by skin types who do not like to use harsher um, ones like glycolic acid. The next thing that you can expect from this serum is nice glowy skin. I know many people want glowy skin. There's so many videos online about glowing skin. Do this, do that. There are basic things you can do to get glowing skin. Exfoliation is the key so that you know you take away all the dead dull skin cells and you can see all the new skin cells and that is going to give you the glow that you've always wanted yes lactic acid also is a part of your skin like naturally a part of your skin naturally is a part of your natural moisturizer factor which is there in your skin so with the use of lactic acid your skin actually does not get drier like with glycolic acid it keeps your skin moisturized and also exfoliates your skin like what more do we want now let's come to directions for use according to me this one can be used one to two times in a week that's it use it at night preferably and don't forget to use the sunscreen in the morning even if you're using it on your body you need to apply body sunscreen or at least wear clothes 
that would cover major part of your body especially where you have applied lactic acid at night now there are many ways you can use it as i've said before you can use it as a peel just put it on your skin and then wash it off after 10 minutes you can also use it as spot treatment if you have melasma or sunburn not acute sunburn but uh, when the sunburn turns into hyperpigmentation or on the you know dry patches that you want to exfoliate you can just apply it on them and remove it you can use it as the serum that it's meant for where you can use it uh, as like an overnight exfoliating serum and it works great again whenever you're using this do not use any other serum in your skincare routine what you can do is use a face wash simple with no actives then use this then after 10 to 15 minutes you can top it off with a good heavy moisturizer and you are good to go what i got with this serum is the, the glow next day when you wake up especially on your forehead right here you can actually see that it's glowing and i love it now let's go and talk about the ingredients together so that you get an idea what's in your serum let's take a look at the ingredients so as you can see here these are the active ingredients that the serum has azelaic acid it does not have derivatives of azelaic acid it has azelaic acid and niacinamide like the acne control serum and as you can see here these are the other actives and the other ceramides and skin healing and soothing ingredients that we can find here the exfoliating serum also has these two extra extracts which will help with hyperpigmentation and these are the humectants that are present in the serum and both the serums are fragrance free so that is great also their website has full ingredient list so there's full transparency there so this was the video guys i hope you guys liked the video and i hope that you guys use these serums and tell me in the comment section below if you've used the serums or if you plan to use the serums and i'm also starting my navratri series from 7th october to 15th october where i will be uploading every single day so see you guys then bye